I am Umberto and I'm a PhD student at the Insight Center for Data Analytics in UCD and I work on music recommendations. So why? Because ever since I was a kid I had this really strong connection with music. I build many memories and share amazing moments with the people I love surrounded by music. Actually, I should remember the first time I got a Walkman. That was like four or five. My dad used to put new music into it every 10 or 15 days. Only 10 songs, of course. Then I got an iPod, a place where I could uh, have all my illegally download music library in a single place. More than that, the iPod was like an open window to my soul. Just by looking at what playlists I had, you could understand if I was going through a happy phase, an angry teenage phase, or even if I was in love. We don't have a, a personal music collection anymore. We listen to music through things like Spotify, where we have access to virtually every single song ever written. And that's great, but then the question is, what do we listen now? Well, before, I would go around to my friends and ask them, What's the new cool band in town? What should I watch to like, kind of fit in, right? Well, right now, I do kind of the same thing because I still want to fit in and be cool, but I do it with my phone. So my phone knows what I'm listening to, and it tells me there is this new band they are playing in Dublin next week. Go check them out. That's great. How does it work? Well, basically, it analyzes millions and millions of users and their behavior, and some music metadata magic algorithms working there, and it tells you, because five million people listen to this song of Lady Gaga that you're listening to right now, your next song will be Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. That's great. I love Lady Gaga, but I hate Miley Cyrus. And computers are not able to really understand that, because they rely on this type of very simple information, like they are both pop, or they are both listened by people who like pop music. So, when I embark in this journey of research, I really wanted to make music personal again. And somehow in the way, I, I kind of understood that music was about sentiment. It was about feelings. And more importantly, music is about people, right? So we developed this uh, very simple, elegant, and yet efficient model to classify music into moods or sentiments. We analyzed the, the lyrics of the songs, such as the ones you see here, and we are able to understand which words are related to particular sentiments. So we know if a song is hot or if a song is happy. With the previous approach that everyone uses right now, Spotify uses, you are not able to distinguish between two indie and acoustic uh, writers. They might seem really similar, but actually they are not. The top one is very sad and melancholic, whether the one in the bottom is actually really happy, catchy, and lovely. And the only way we can find these type of relations and make uh, personalized music recommendations to you, which are cool and interesting, is doing this type of approach. Thank you very much.